Yeah, no, right. Down. I don't want to see my dad. Okay? 
that chicken bone. It was right there. Yeah. I've, I've told them several times. I know, you've told me several times. But it doesn't change that you're a child and the adults get to pick. You don't. Well, why? 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 That's, that's how it goes. You can't drive my car either. Even if you want to. And maybe you don't want to stop at the stoplight. You have to, because that's the law. You're wasting time. We're going to add time on in the end. For the time that you're standing in the hall. So it's not serving you very well to do this. The sooner you get started, the sooner you can go. Okay? So come on, let me get that. Oh. judge ordered see ordered wait so on the 22nd of october like you guys not me it, everybody else did oh. your mom your dad their attorneys and your attorney and the judge six people signed it because they believe that this is best for you okay that's why we're here i didn't 
I had nothing to do with this. They just asked me if I would help do the work. And the work is for you to sit down and get used to being around your dad. Okay? You understand? Do you have more questions? Uh, well, okay. That's when I met with your mom. That's not your business. Okay. This is your business. That your mom and dad, your dad and mom agreed. And the anarchists agreed. Okay? Mm -hmm. Let's, uh, they didn't ask you. <laughs> they didn't ask me. But all of them together made this decision. And therefore, the judge turned it into a law. That's why we're here. I have to be here, too. Your dad has to be here, too. You have to be here, too. And your mom has to be here. That's what it says to you. Is that new information for you? I thought I'd show this to you before. Yeah, you showed me, you showed me that last time. Yeah. Do you, do you believe it or what? Is it? No, I don't want to do it. I don't. I don't really want to, but I'm just saying, uh, there's a lot of things you have to do you don't want to do. And this might be one of them, but, you know, nothing bad is happening. Nothing bad is happening. And something, you know, things could get in a way that you don't like it even more unless we can obey the order that the judge signed and that your parents agreed. Okay? Okay. But, I'm just confused a little. Why are you confused? Tell, tell me, understand. Because it's just like, that you want to agree to this? Not that. Which part of the class? Tell me. Sebastian, speak up. It's okay. Say whatever you have to say. Whatever you have in mind is fine. Just express yourself. I'm just, I'm just shocked. At what? That like. I don't know that it's such a fun October. Yeah, we're just getting started. We were supposed to start last October. It didn't happen until this year. Because I gave you some time, remember? You asked me for time. Do you remember that? All right, then. I gave you time. You did not respect me. Did you ask your father? And did he agree? Mm -hmm. Okay. I asked, I asked him if I could have a break. And then he's like, mm, like, at first he's like, no. And then he's like, at first he just says no. I, I don't know how to explain it, but he just doesn't want to at the beginning. And then for some reason, he wants to at the end. Well, you know, if, if you say, I want a break from you, parents usually don't like that. If you said to your mom, I want a break from you, do you think she would like that? She respect that my choice. She was, well, your dad did too. Up to a point. And then the break didn't help. It actually hurt, actually. The break didn't do anything to make you more comfortable with your dad or that he honored your request? It, it helps me a lot, like with education, like in school. <clears throat> okay. Um, I just felt like, I felt better. Okay. Did you thank him? <sighs> no, but it's, like ever since I've come back here, mm -hmm. like I've been feeling worse. Mm -hmm. And I just don't want to be here because it's like ruining like my mental health. It's not ruining your mental health. I feel like it is. I know you feel like it is. But it is not ruining your mental health. Is it? Really? No, it's not. You can feel like it. Like you can feel like I'm about to kick you or something, but I'm not. 
you can feel like this is a problem, but we're just sitting here. And, you know, I, I don't understand why you are so uncomfortable since I'm sitting right next to you and nothing bad has happened in here, right? It's just like having to see him, it just makes me stressed out a lot. No, yeah, that's just the room, honey. And having to go to school might be stressful for some kids or having to stay home and wear a mask. That's stressful for some kids, too. They don't like it. And if they feel like it ruins their life. But it doesn't because nobody can ruin your life unless you want to make it look that way. So if your mental health is not doing well, I don't know exactly what you mean by that. What do you mean by that? It's like I feel worse. Oh, right. Tell me how that shows up. Let me get my phone back. Right. Well, I can write it. Should we go ready to go back? Mm-hmm. Yeah. These make it worse. No, I, I really think it's worse. I don't know how, why, why you think this is a problem, how this is affecting you. What do you think? I'm confused. Like, what are you writing it for? I, I keep notes on everything so I don't, so I don't forget it. Because I forget things. I don't feel comfortable with that. With what? You're writing it down. That's too bad. I have to do it by law. I have to have notes to represent what we do. I thought it was for, because you couldn't remember. Well, that too. Oh. Yeah. Sometimes, some people, they, they have a session, and after the session, they write things down, like, well, here's what we did today, what we talked about. I would do that. I write it down so I can make sure that it is most accurate. Okay? So I don't forget anything. I feel like it's a problem. Yeah. Because it's been taking a big toll on how everything. Like it's been like I've been. I cannot. I cannot think right now because it's being written down and it's like making me feel weird. Okay. Okay. And I'd rather talk about it without a thing written down because that makes me feel like clear. Okay. I'll stop writing for a minute, okay? So go ahead. Okay. I'll just do the So I, I feel like it's making me like I've been doing worse at school ever since this happened because First off, like, I've been missing from school hours because of having to be here, and also because, like, it's making me feel worse, just in general, like, in my mental health. I don't want you to be specific. Like, it's making me, like, cry more, like, feel sad more. It's just, like, what was like, last time you cried? Last night. Okay, why? Why last night? Because I had such a great day, and then knowing I have to like, be here again, it just made me feel horrible. Mm-hmm. And I feel like taking, you know, after this, I feel like taking a bath to, like, to, to feel better about myself. Okay. Does that usually help? Mm-hmm. Do you put bubbles? Mm-hmm. No? Okay. And I just don't want to be here because I like, just... It ruins a lot. It ruins my mood. Okay. It can be for, for worse. Yeah, it's up to you. What do you mean? 
that I know is that <clears throat> your mood is in your control. And maybe it's your birthday. And you want to have a swim party. And it starts to rain on your birthday. And you can't have a swim party. That might be a disappointment. But it doesn't mean that you have to ruin anything. figure out a way to have it on a different day or do something else or enjoy your birthday no matter what. The part of growing up and part of being a man or a woman and part of being a student in school is that whether you're tired or not or whether you lost your squash game or whether you hungry or you don't feel good, your job is to get up and go to school anyway and do the best you can, right? I mean, sometimes we don't feel like going to school, right? But our job is to go anyway. And this is, this is your job. Your dad is your job. Right? I don't know, Sebastian. You have to partake on you already asked for the documentation like a couple times minimum. And you're already being shown so I and you've been here a couple times already. Uh you've been here with other people, so I don't really understand why Excuse me. bless you. I don't understand why you feel like I'm going to hurt you or do something to you when you will know that. You usually do the same thing over and over. And what you're saying doesn't really Keep doing this until you feel comfortable. I, I, Not feeling comfortable doesn't mean that you don't have to come. I don't think I'll ever feel comfortable. That's fine. That's fine. Well, we just have to come anyway. I mean, I never felt comfortable going to the doctor and getting a shot either. They made me go. And so I went. I didn't like it. Did not make me feel good. And my arm hurt afterwards. Has that ever happened to you? No. Well, you're stronger than I am. I was terrified of going to the doctor and getting a shot. I was terrible. But that's what I had to do. And being uncomfortable is not something that will change the order. Being uncomfortable or comfortable. You don't have to be comfortable. I mean, some people, they jump off a diving board and they're never comfortable. But we're just going to keep doing it because that's the job that your mom and your dad agreed to and the judge ordered. But why would, I don't think my mom would agree to the... Hey, she did agree. But, like... I'm telling you, she did. She's been, she's been protecting me, like... I've, I've told her my feelings, like, I don't want to see my dad. She, she understands them, and I don't think she would willingly do this unless it was, like, she was, like, forced to. She wasn't forced to. But, like, okay. what if it was, like... Honey, I'm telling you that that is incorrect, and that she showed up in front of the judge, made a general appearance, and has agreed to the terms okay. as indicated by her signature. No one is forced to sign a legal document in front of the judge. No one's forced to do that. And did someone, like, was she given another option? Well, sure. She didn't have to sign it. What option was that? 
I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. This is, this is. She just had the option. She didn't want to sign it. Sebastian. She didn't want to sign it. Sebastian. Wait. 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 She did not have to sign it. In which case, what would happen is uh, it would go to trial, and then someone would force her to sign to sign it. But that's not what happened. Mm, but I'm, I'm going to ask my mom, because like, I, I feel like she wouldn't do that. Well, it's written here. It's a document, a legal document. Yeah, but I want to ask my mom. Okay, you so, can ask her later. Okay. What did your mom tell you that we were doing? She brought you here. Why did she bring you here? Because you, you have to. She had to. <laughs> she agreed to. I, I just don't feel like she would like agree. Well, I'm sorry, Jenny. I'm sorry that you don't feel that way. But this is the truth. And you can feel like she might have been forced or she would never do that. I'm just telling you, here it is. I don't feel safe right now. Well, what do you think might happen? What do you think is unsafe about being here? Having to see my dad. What do you think is unsafe about it? What do you think might happen that's unsafe? You think he's going to jump up and hit you on the head with a baseball bat? I, I feel like... I, f I feel like... Do you want me to... Like, be happy with my dad? And I, I, I can't be happy Boom. with you said you don't feel safe. Explain that to me, please. I don't feel safe because I just don't feel like anyone, like, I just don't feel like my feelings are respected, and I feel like no one cares about me. Well, that's not true. That's not true. Because your mom cares about you, and your dad cares about you, we wouldn't be here. I'm sitting here next to you trying to help you settle down. Um, the anarchist cared about you, and the fact that you don't want something and you don't get to do that doesn't mean that no one cares for you. Is this the anarchist, like, he sided with my dad more and didn't believe me at all and made my mom look horrible? How do you know? Because, like, he, he was saying that, like, my mom forced me to say stuff or coached me, that's what he said. And okay. And that just made me feel horrible because, like, why, mm -hmm. where would you get that from? I don't know. I don't know. I wasn't part of any of that. I don't even know you're, you're an anarchist. Oh, I don't know that. Luke, you need to stay here. Uh, it, it's an emergency. Okay, I'll okay. wrap you up.
it's, um, it's going to take a while. Can you repeat that? Why? Why do you need to add time? What happens? Ugh. <sighs> 